good yourself. Maybe you like to look under the wallet. Yeah, we could do that. How long have been away for two days? The temperatures. Uh, it had a car has to stand in traffic. You can put that on the bus. And in those days, there were so. Uh, while I was moving around, uh, Bradley headed that up. Around Jeff Mortimer, if I go down to the to the other guys, Paddy Driver, Peter de Klerk. Uh, put us into B class. And Alex said, no way. Green, we're moving that car into A. <laughs> I'll tell you what, I think you've done a hell of a lot more to the car than we have. Oh, yeah. I, I think he, I he gave he, us a lot of information. I think he knows a hell of a lot more about Corona than I do. <laughs> we have to, we have to get you to at least sit in it. You know? I think he's up for it. He just didn't want you to say no. <laughs> Uh, 96 at Cortina Perano. Oh. It was a lot of work, yeah. Uh, the body was also badly rusted, a lot of parts were missing, like windows and panels. Mm. Here. And running those cars around about the 128s. Made the whole thing work. And uh, or outside, Capri gives you what you want. A choice of five engine sizes, manual or automatic drive. So, you gave me the name of the gentleman to make a new badges. Or a 1600 badge. Yeah. Go to seven. That's due to the DI motor used to have. Okay. Uh, I don't want to brag, but you know. Yeah, go on. Ferrari is red, uh, and Gunston was orange, and I'd be flattered to to think that our colours are still so well liked. Tell us about your ownership of this car and how it came about. Well, John, to be honest, this is quite a recent acquisition. The engine bay on this car is, uh, for me, a very interesting... You can see the bumblebee stripe 